Welcome back to the channel, everybody. Guys, today's video was honestly not what I planned to put out, but I logged in and I had a little red dot, and I always clear my red dots, as you guys know. Absolutely, I do not. But I saw this tournament right here, okay? This Fire Knight tournament. Now, this Kale skin, I really couldn't care less about it, but these tournaments usually have some ancient shards, maybe void shards, but at least ancient shards, and they're usually fairly easy to win because you have the specific groups of factions. So this one is Raid the Fire Knight Castle using champions from the Corrupted Alliance to win amazing rewards. So Dark Hale, the regular Kale skin, I don't really care about that, but the shards could be a pretty nice addition. So what I did is came in here, the Corrupted Alliance is probably the elite, easiest alliance of all of the alliances to actually do, but... I still may not be able to build a team for stage 24, stage 25 very easily. So what I wanted to do today is come in here, build a team for stage 20. That could be really fast. Well, in the midst of that, I ended up building speed farm teams for Ice Golem, Spider, Dragon, and Fire Knight. So since I've spent the last four hours, literally actually a little bit over four hours, trying to make all these teams as fast as I could get them, I figured, hey, let's make that time not complete waste and show you guys what I've come up with. So the main thing, Fire Knight, okay? So Fire Knight is this the stage that I was focused on today and actually doing because this is the team that I'll be using tomorrow. And I can do another video talking about what team specifically for the Corrupted Alliance would be good. But I mean, you have all of your, all of your really important champions. You have your Allure, you have your Kaimar, you have a ton of very usable champions in the Corrupted Alliance as it is. So honestly, it's gonna be the easiest of all the alliances to do, but now, I got a Fire Knight. Oh, that's my that's my stage 25 team. Let's do Fire Knight stage 20 speed farm team. So I do have it set to unlimited frames. It's on PC. So it's going to be a lot faster than if you're using mobile, of course. So here we have Cold Hearts. You'll find that is a very common theme across all of these runs. Cold Heart is a very crucial part because Cold Heart on stage 20 isn't capped by the max, max damage you can do. And on Fire Knight, she's absolutely amazing. So this run, hopefully it comes out pretty quickly. I had to do a few AI changes for Kaimar because I actually realized something very important, which I'll show you guys in just a minute. But now he's he's doing it pretty consistently, pretty fast. So hopefully we missed the reset just then. If he resets on that second go around, it makes the run about 27 seconds. If not, it's about 31 to 32 seconds. So in the presets, this is very important. So let me go in here and show you guys what's going on in case you guys wanna build this team. I'm gonna show you a speed run team for each and every dungeon, and then we'll go back and run them again. So Ruel is opener, don't use. We have on the second wave, opener and then don't use and on the third wave we have don't use open and then don't use so you guys can just copy this down if you would like ghostborn is going to be prioritize the a3 open with the a3 really prioritize or open they're going to be the same doesn't really matter which one you do and then on round three are these cold heart is going to be this is round we'll start with round one don't use heart seeker don't use heart seeker round two make sure it's ready for round three don't set heart seeker to open because if you do it's going to go right into this the finite shield so set heart seeker to number one at least is what i've done uh second cold heart is the exact same thing and then prince kaimar if you're running cycle of magic make sure on round three you turn off this a2 ability so i had this ability on and what happens is cycle of magic has a five percent chance to reduce the cooldown of an ability so it was reducing the cooldown of this ability because this ability would be on cooldown potentially. So now I have it set to only have Seal of Magic being used. So if Cycle of Magic does get used, then it will just reduce the cooldown of the Seal of Magic, allowing my run to be a little bit faster. So next, let's go over here to Dragon Stage 20. Now, the reason why I'm doing Stage 20, at least on for tomorrow for the tournament, is because Stage 20 is going to give the best ratio for uh, tournament points per energy spent. So I'm going to do that. Now, if I'm just wanting to farm gear, I'll probably stick to Stage 24, maybe 25. Just depends on what team I have. It's more easily accessible. So Dragon Stage 20. Let's see what team we got going on over here. Dragon Stage 20 speed run. We have Venus, but you can use Draco. You could use Lydia. Venus is just the best decreased defense and weaken option that I have because Lydia is a little bit too tanky, I believe. Maybe a little bit too slow, but I really haven't tried her. So maybe she would work perfectly fine. But so far, Venus has been working out very, very well. Ruler Guard, absolutely amazing. Same thing as on the Fire Knight. On stage 20 of all the dungeons, you're not limited by the amount of max HP you can deal. So Ruler Guard, Husk, Cold Heart, Seer maybe even, because she's an enemy max HP champion. All those champions are very, very good. Cold Heart, Armager even, they absolutely smack these bosses. So I love seeing that. 30 seconds on Dragon Stage 20. This is the first time ever, because before this, I think my fastest on Dragon 20 was like 40 or 50 seconds. I really hadn't pushed it to try to set new personal records. And today I did pretty well, I'd say. So we have Dragon Stage 20 at 30 seconds, Fire Knight at 27 to 30 seconds-ish. Let's go to Ice Golem. Ice Golem is a little tricky. So actually, before we do Ice Golem, 
Let me show you guys my presets for Dragon Stage 20 real quick. I've also spent a lot of gems today, probably about a thousand. Uh, so Dragon Stage 20, I'll just click through these. You guys can copy or stop the video as you need. Um, these are roller guards. So round one, round two, and round three. Kaimar, round one, round two, round three. Coldheart, round one, round two, and round three. You guys can pay attention to the speeds if you want. If you have any questions, just refer to this. If you have specific questions on specific areas, then just leave it down below. I can definitely answer them. Ray can be replaced with any strong, hard-hitting damage dealer. Plus four Ray doesn't really need to be plus four by no means. Honestly, any damage dealer who can wipe the waves out, you're going to be per per perfectly fine. My Leo was actually very close to doing so. Ray round one, two, and three. Honestly, I could turn these off. I just really want fast animations in that last wave. She's going pretty fast, 217 just to do the nukes before anybody else goes, ideally. Venus, round one, round two, and round three. And then with her, I may even turn off this ability. I don't know which one has the faster animations, but honestly, it's pretty fast as it is, so I'm pretty happy with where we're at currently. So, like I said, if you want to screenshot the stats, try to build there. Most of my damage dealers are in either Instinct or Savage Gear, some extra ignore defense, whatever it may be. I'll click through all the champion's builds once we finish all this. So Ice Golem, um, it may take some piecing together with like a puzzle when you go back and watch it, because I don't want to spend 20 minutes going over each and every team. If you have specific questions, I definitely can dive more in depth though. So this one is Ice Golem stage 20 speed. Um, now Ice Golem is weird because Ice Golem, if you get to the boss and Royal Guard is a big hit, the Ice Golem is going to do the huge slam and kill everybody. But if you have Lydia, the Ice Golem, assuming you kill the two side adds, which is what my Royal Guard will do, then Lydia will stop him from rezzing. And then uh, uh, what's this guy's name? Septimus. I haven't used him in a long time. Septimus will come in, smack the big ice golem, and then it'll be over. He, I thought he had high resistance, but I guess he doesn't anymore. So Royal Guard, round one, round two, round three. Prince Kaimar, round one, round two, and round three. Septimus, round one, round two, round three. Honestly, he doesn't do that much. Just uh, finishes off the boss. You could use Cold Heart for that as well. Uh, Lydia, round one, round two, and round three. Ray, round one, two, and three. On round three, whatever damage dealer you bring, Make sure they're not doing a ton of damage because you don't want to really hit the ice golem and make him activate that big slam again. So one time's fine, two times it gets a little bit shaky. So this run is the one that's going to have the most RNG because if you don't kill these side people, it can definitely get a little bit weird. Make sure everybody's crit rates at 100%. Ideally have flawless execution because Helm Smasher can definitely add some more RNG and variability to the runs in general. But so far this has done pretty well. So we have Royal Guard come in here with a big smack. Hopefully the Ice Golem doesn't kill Septimus. Perfect. He survived, but just barely. We do have Strengthen on him, which helps out a lot. Make sure Royal Guard and Septimus' speeds are very, very close because you want, as soon as Royal Guard goes, you want Septimus to come in with that big, hard-hitting A2 ability and finishing it off. If you have anybody in between those two champions or taking turns in between those two champions, then it's very likely that the run just falls apart because the Ice Golem is very likely to proc another huge slam. So with Septimus, he is currently sitting at 157 and Royal Guard is at 169. So they actually have a decent speed gap. Before, I had like 165 Septimus. So I could definitely increase this, but so far it seems pretty good. So I'm gonna leave it exactly where it's at. Lydia, this one's the most specific with the speed tune because Lydia needs to be fast enough so that she's getting that turn, the extra turn, and then doing that decrease speed or decrease defense and weaken right before Royal Guard does his big slam. So Royal Guard, opens with the razor blade, and then does takedown. This is working out very well so far. If your Lydia is too slow, Royal Guard will do his big hit, and then Lydia will do the decreased defense and weaken after that, which will make the run not that good because the two side people won't actually be dead. You could technically use two Royal Guards instead of Septimus, but I like Septimus so far. I don't really use him that much other areas, so I figured, hey, let's go ahead and throw him into Ice Golem speed run. Now, Spider Stage 20 as well. We got a 10 second run over here. Now this right here, is not what I would use to be honest. So this team is just full of cold hearts because hey, why not? You need more cold hearts, always more cold hearts. I think two of these cold hearts have Helm Smasher and two of them I think have War Master because I use these on I think some stage 25 spider runs as well. But hey, if you can make their cold hearts do 10 second spider, use four of them, right? Now more realistically, you could do this with uh, three cold hearts and Septimus or two cold hearts I think in Septimus, let's see. There's a lot of different things you could do. You could stack a champion with super hard hitting abilities and literally allow Septimus to do this by himself as far as the only damage dealer. Just build him up to do pretty well, and he'll do perfectly fine. Let's go ahead and try this one time. Maybe he'll do this. Actually, no, probably need one more Cold Heart. So we'll throw one more in. Two Cold Hearts and a Septimus. We should be good, right? Should be good here. So let me know, guys. Have you all sped up your um, 
stage 20 dungeons in a while. Honestly, I've spent so much time doing stage 24 and 25, I've really not worried about stage 20. But a few days ago, I actually rebuilt my stage 20 spider team, was doing 11 seconds, and I can make silver very, very quickly from doing that. May not be the best, but it worked out very well. So I was like, hey, let's go ahead and try to rebuild everything after seeing that Fire Knight stage, Fire Knight tournament tomorrow. So it worked out pretty well. Got some good speed runs so far. Um, this works better if you have Lydia. The decreased defense and weaken are kind of needed. So we'll use Lydia here, open with that ability. And then we'll run through all of the runs one more time. If you guys have any questions, like I said, leave them down below. If you enjoy this video, drop a like, subscribe to the channel. Um, but I'll also click through all the champions gear. I'll, I'll have my webcam. I'll click through all the gear and the masteries so you guys can see as you need. Um, I have the champions marked, so you can definitely just check that out. Maybe we can drop one cold heart. That Septimus smacks. He smacks hard. All right, so let's see if we can drop one cold heart. Three man spider stage 25, maybe? Or spider stage 20, sorry. Let's see. Septimus definitely hits pretty daggone hard. He is in savage gear, but he's not crazy crit damage or attack. Just pretty decent. No way. Okay, I was going to say, no way he one-shots that. So, nine seconds is difficult. It can be done for sure, but it is definitely difficult to get done. So, let's go ahead and try this. So, we'll we'll take out, we'll put the cold hearts back in. Ghostborn is good for consistency. So, Ghostborn is amazing for consistency because he always lands that decreased defense, always places increased attack, and then cold hearts, they're always going to hit pretty hard. So, this team right here is going to be far more consistent than the one with Lydia because Lydia can sometimes miss her... Um, decreased defense, her weaken, whatever it may be. Now, Septimus should be in the lead here. I'll put him in the lead later on. Don't really have to worry about it right now. Actually, what's what's going on with this team? This is the wrong Ghostborn. You got to make sure your Ghostborn is the fastest on the team. If your Ghostborn's not the fastest, then your champions are going to attack, and there's going to be no decreased defense. So, the Septimus there, Ghostborn there, had the wrong one in the team. So, I have two Ghostborns. Actually, a nice champion to have a dupe up, to be honest. So, throw Septimus there, and this should be a good team. Let's go ahead and finish this up. We'll run through all the dungeons one more time. For you guys to see them if you're curious and then i'll show you guys the gear so we have the decreased defense on everybody i don't think this team can go to nine seconds i don't see how it would to be honest yeah so i don't think it's very likely at all that it could do that um so there we go 10 seconds not too bad whatsoever so let's go to go to fire night one more time honestly with these fast times this is a great way to spend your energy down quickly like if you don't have a lot of time especially with rsl helper not working currently i'm going to be more inclined to do some speed runs like this dump my energy in like 10, 20 minutes or so, and then come back later on and do it again. Whereas with RSL Helper, I could turn on overnight, let it run overnight. I don't really want to use all my multi-battles right now because I got to be careful with them. I feel as if I do. I got like 1,400. I could definitely run through a lot of them, but I'm trying to be somewhat mindful and careful about how I use them. Hopefully this run gets a good Kaimar refresh proc. That'd be awesome. So Coldheart did refresh her Heartseeker here. May have a 30-second run. Perfect. 29-second run. Not too bad whatsoever. Let's go to Ice Golem one more time. And then we'll do dragon. So ice golem here. Dang, so many refreshes. So many refreshes. I don't know if I've even gotten good gear so far. Hopefully. I guess we'll see. Later on. When I go to roll it. I'm looking forward to rolling my bolster set though. I don't I didn't buy the rest of the forge pass, but the bolster set looks pretty solid. Definitely looking forward to trying that on somebody. This is the run that's gonna be most likely to fail. Because Ice Golem just has so much RNG in general. If you get if you get less than ideal hits could fail if you don't place your decreased defense and weaken could fail right here could fail because septimus probably not gonna do that much damage yeah didn't do that much damage we get another big hit this is the only one that i wouldn't copy necessarily 100 and if you did i would probably tweak the build just a little bit kaimar is going to reset it should be fine and it should be fine most of the time but this is the one that's going to be a little bit sketchy like i said if any of them are and then dragon stage 20 last but not least 27 seconds if you got two royal guards, you maybe will do better. Um, two royal guards and a cold heart instead of Ray, maybe will speed the run up. There's definitely some options. Draco would definitely speed the run up because he places the decreased defense and weaken, so there's no animation time to it. Plus, has some poison, so and he hits pretty hard. So that'd be a nice one to speed this run up. Kind of wish I had Draco in a way, but on the flip side, I wouldn't really use him that many places to be honest. I don't think because my clan boss team is kind of just stuck with Rugnor and Bad Eater. So two man eaters, Rugnor, Painkeeper, and Seeker. That's really all I have there. So let's see Royal Guard use his big hit. Boom. There we go. 29 seconds at Dragon Stage 20. So there we go, guys. I'm going to go in here, hide my webcam, and show you all the builds of all these champions. Let's go check out what everybody's looking at, looking like right now. So recently used. We'll start with Ray, and we'll just go down the list. So Ray, here's all of her stats. All these champions assume they're fully booked, okay? 
mastery is right here. So all these champions, some of them may not be fully booked. Some of them could be built with more damage. Some of them may not need that much damage, but assume the champions are fully booked, especially for the bu the um, the books that do buff and debuff chance. So Kaimar is fast, just my arena build, nothing super special here. The Venus could definitely be built better. She has Oppressor, which is not really needed for this. Um, Oppressor is just good for solo runs, not really for speed runs. She could definitely be built to hit harder and maybe it'll shave a few seconds. Maybe maybe a second off, but honestly, I'm not sure. Royal Guard, this is the one for the uh, Ice Golem team alongside Septimus. Pretty slow, which is pretty important. Pretty slow, hits very hard. Lethal Gear, definitely a set worth farming. We have the Support Tree. All the Cold Hearts are basically the same. So all of them are going to be about this 211 speed. Just make sure your decreased defense, whatever champion, your debuff champion goes before the Cold Heart. So make sure they're at least the at least faster, at least one speed faster than your fastest Cold Heart. And then their skills, fully booked, of course. The Masteries. This is what's currently. Um, definitely pick up Sniper, but you can mix these up a little bit. Helm Smasher on this one, uh, though Flawless Execution is a very, very um, consistent option to go. Lydia, just good accuracy, good speed. Specifically for Ice Golem, you need to need Lydia to be good speed, especially with the team that I showed you guys, because you want to make sure that she does the decrease defense and weaken in between, before, well, right before the uh, Royal Guard does his big hit. Septimus, built to hit hard, pretty slow, doesn't really need that many turns, to be honest. Masteries, basically all the damage dealers are going to be very, very similar as far as the Masteries go. We have Ruel, uh, just built to hit hard, but just built to hit absolutely like a truck. We have the uh, low crit rate on him because he gives himself a 20% crit rate aura anyways, in any dungeon that he's in, he's going to be the leader, at least most of the time. So we have 80% crit rate on him. We have these masteries. Honestly, this could probably be changed up, but his main thing is just to clear the waves. I like him. He's a pretty good champion. And then Ghostborn, he's in a shield set for some seer runs that I've done. Honestly, this may not be the right one. 218, this is the right one. So this, this build right here for him is probably a little bit better. It's a little bit slower, but the damage is definitely better. So 65%, I think he's ran against Force Affinity, maybe uh, maybe Fire Knight. Force Affinity plus Ruel's Aura, I think that's where he's at. So depends on your 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 team, depends on how you're actually going to build Ghostborn. And the Cold Hearts are exactly the same. And then Royal Guard, this one I was using earlier, but I don't think I'm using him anymore. So guys, hopefully you all enjoyed that video. Thank you all for watching. Let me know if you speed up your teams. Let me know if you have a faster team than these, because I'm definitely curious what you're using. Uh, so, hope you all enjoyed the video, and I will catch you all in the next one.